ever wondered how researchers manage to extract meaningful insights from a complex web of data points? The answer is multivariate analysis. Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training channel, Techniques of Multivariate Analysis. This technique is the Swiss Army Knife of Statistics, a powerful tool that enables researchers to examine patterns and relationships among multiple variables simultaneously. Imagine trying to understand a painting by only looking at one color at a time. It would be quite challenging, wouldn't it? Similarly, when dealing with complex data, considering one variable at a time can leave us with an incomplete picture. That's where multivariate analysis comes in. It allows us to examine all the colors or variables at once. This technique is not just about understanding data. It's about making more accurate predictions and decisions. It's about uncovering hidden patterns that can lead to innovative solutions and breakthroughs. So, now that we know what multivariate analysis is, let's delve into the techniques that make it such a powerful tool. Unpacking the techniques. Part one. The first technique we're going to explore is multiple regression analysis. Now, what is multiple regression analysis? It's a statistical technique that we use to understand the relationship between one dependent variable and several independent variables. In simpler terms, it allows us to see how multiple factors can influence a single outcome. Imagine you're trying to predict the price of a house. There are many factors to consider, such as the size of the house, the number of bedrooms, the location, and the age of the property. Each of these factors plays a role in determining the price. With multiple regression analysis, we can quantify just how much each of these factors contributes to the final price. But how does it work? The technique estimates the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variables by fitting a mathematical equation to observe data. The coefficients of the equation can then be used to predict the value of the dependent variable based on the values of the independent variables. And where is it used? Well, multiple regression analysis is a versatile tool that is applied in numerous fields. For instance, it's used in forecasting to predict future sales based on historical data and market conditions. In time series modeling, it's used to understand patterns or trends over time. And in causality analysis, it's used to determine whether one variable causes changes in another. The beauty of multiple regression analysis lies in its ability to handle complex, real-world situations. It allows us to make sense of the chaos, to sift through the myriad of variables that affect an outcome, and to pinpoint the most influential factors. But remember, like any tool, it's not infallible. It's crucial to ensure that the assumptions underlying multiple regression analysis are met and that the data used is reliable and robust. Multiple regression analysis is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to discover. Unpacking the techniques. Part 2. Next up, we have factor analysis, another key technique in multivariate analysis. Factor analysis is a statistical method used to describe variability among observed correlated variables in terms of fewer unobserved variables known as factors. It's a way of condensing data into more manageable form without losing much information. Think of it as a way to streamline your data, shaving off the excess while preserving the core. The main purpose of factor analysis is to reduce the number of observed variables and find unobservable ones. Essentially, it's about simplifying the data landscape. It's like looking at a bustling city from a bird's eye view. From that vantage point, you can see patterns and connections that you might miss when you're down in the thick of it. Factor analysis is particularly useful in fields like market research and psychometrics. In market research, for instance, factor analysis can help identify underlying customer preferences or perceptions that may not be readily apparent from the raw data. It can reveal patterns in consumer behavior, helping businesses tailor their strategies more effectively. In the field of psychometrics, which is all about measuring psychological traits, factor analysis is essential. It can help identify latent variables or constructs such as intelligence or personality traits that can't be directly measured but can be inferred from a set of observations. But factor analysis is not limited to these fields. It can be used in any research field where patterns in data can be hard to spot with the naked eye. For example, in the social sciences, it can help researchers understand complex social phenomena by identifying the underlying factors that influence them. 
The beauty of factor analysis lies in its ability to make the complex simple. It takes a vast, intricate data set and boils it down to its essence, revealing the underlying structure and patterns. It's like a magic lens that brings the hidden into focus. So, while factor analysis might seem daunting at first, it's worth grappling with. Because once you've mastered it, it becomes a powerful tool in your research arsenal. It allows you to see the forest for the trees, to discern patterns and connections that might otherwise remain hidden. Factor analysis, while complex, gives us a simplified view of the data, making it easier to comprehend. Unpacking the techniques. Part 3. Now we're moving on to cluster analysis, a technique that's all about grouping. Think of cluster analysis as a social butterfly of the multivariate analysis techniques. It thrives on finding connections, making associations, and grouping similar things together. The power of this technique lies in its ability to sift through a heap of data and find hidden patterns or groupings. Imagine you have a bag full of marbles, each one different in size, color, and weight. Cluster analysis is like reaching into that bag and pulling out groups of marbles that are similar to each other. It's not interested in the individual marbles, but the groups they form based on their similarities. Now how does cluster analysis do this? It uses a set of algorithms to group objects into clusters. The idea is that objects in the same cluster are more similar to each other than to those in other clusters. The similarity is determined based on certain characteristics or features of the objects. But the beauty of cluster analysis doesn't stop at simply grouping similar items. Its real strength lies in its wide range of applications. From market segmentation to social science, it's a tool that's used to find hidden patterns and groupings within our data. In market segmentation, for example, businesses use cluster analysis to identify distinct groups within their customer base. This could be based on buying habits, preferences, or demographics. By doing so, they can tailor their marketing strategies to each group, resulting in more effective campaigns. In social science, researchers might use cluster analysis to understand and categorize complex social behaviors. By grouping individuals based on shared characteristics, they can gain insights into patterns and trends within a population. In essence, cluster analysis is like a detective, sifting through a sea of data to find hidden connections and patterns. It's a technique that's all about grouping, about finding the common thread that ties different pieces of data together. So, the next time you're faced with a heap of data and don't know where to start, remember cluster analysis. It's there to help you navigate the complex world of data and find the hidden patterns waiting to be discovered. Cluster analysis helps us to find hidden patterns and groupings within our data. Summary of multivariate analysis techniques. We've uncovered the secrets of multiple regression analysis, factor analysis, and cluster analysis. But what ties all these techniques together? Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey through these multivariate analysis techniques. We delve deep into the realm of multiple regression analysis first, a technique that allows us to predict the value of a dependent variable based on the values of two or more independent variables. It's like having a crystal ball that predicts the future, but instead of magic, we use data. This technique is particularly useful when we're trying to understand not just one, but the combined effect of several factors on a particular outcome. It's like deciphering a complex recipe where each ingredient has its own unique impact on the final dish. Then, we ventured into the world of factor analysis, a technique that simplifies complex data by identifying underlying factors or dimensions that explain the correlations among a set of variables. Think of it as the process of sorting through a tangled ball of yarn. Factor analysis helps us unravel the knots, revealing the individual strands that make up the whole. By doing so, it reduces the complexity of our data, making it easier to comprehend and interpret. Finally, we explored the fascinating landscape of cluster analysis. This technique groups data into clusters based on similar characteristics. It's like organizing a messy drawer full of different items into neat sections where each item shares common features with others in the same section. Cluster analysis is invaluable when we're trying to uncover hidden patterns or groupings within our data that aren't immediately apparent. So what's the common thread that weaves these techniques together? They all aim to decipher complex data and help researchers derive meaningful insights. Each technique with its unique approach 
allows researchers to view their data from different perspectives. Multiple regression analysis helps predict outcomes, factor analysis simplifies complex data, and cluster analysis uncovers hidden groupings. These techniques are not just mathematical formulas or statistical jargon. They are powerful tools that can turn data into knowledge. They enable researchers to ask the right questions, to look beyond the obvious, and to uncover truths that are not immediately apparent. They provide a way to navigate the sea of data that we are often confronted with in today's data-driven world. In summary, multivariate analysis techniques are more than just statistical methods. They are key allies in the pursuit of knowledge, helping researchers decode the mysteries hidden within their data. Whether it's predicting behaviors, simplifying complexities, or identifying hidden groupings, multivariate analysis techniques give researchers the tools they need to make sense of their data. Remember, in the world of research, these techniques are your best allies. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.